creepy in here. We're just getting ready to hit their one hour mark. Let's listen in on uh, Northampton. What's the story with this cell block? I think this is where the guard got pushed. They don't remember the history of this cell block, of cell block 14. Okay, they so. think this is where the guards were pushed instead of uh, this is where the youngest inmates were held. We're taking over the cell block. My name's Scotty, that's Scott, that's Chris. All these cell doors remain open. Nobody comes out, nothing comes through this place without going through me. Dude, what is that? Could be other, could be wind. Snap pictures up. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dave, I just want to point out here, there's been a lot of walking back and forth. They have not been tagging this. Okay, now this is the place where they pushed a guard over the rail. I think they even said they put, what, accountants in here sometimes? Tone, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up? Shh, shh, shh. There's like footsteps coming from over here. I heard him over here. How was that? Hello? Hey, Sharon? Sharon? Yeah. We're going to stay still real quick. And we heard, uh, heard some footsteps over here. Okay. And I just switched over. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Is there anybody in here? I'm kind of stuck down here, too. Can you just come up and sit down next to me? Are you walking around me? Alright, I know you're here because I can feel you. See this little red dot? Just talking to it. And I can hear you and we can talk back and forth. I just want to know your story. That's all. Teams, you have 15 minutes left. Uh, Scott Wiley is downstairs by himself in the hold. And the inmates had to stay in there for weeks and sometimes months at a time. Well, let's go and check in on Scott. See this little red dot? Just talking to it. I can hear you and we can talk back and forth. I just want to know your story. That's all. The hell was that? I'm concerned. This guy's definitely not going to make it back in time. He has no communication, no connection with our world right now at all. He is in <laughs> one of the most secluded areas in the United States. Uh-oh, he might make it. If he can get his shoulders out. Looks like he's just being Look, born and right gentlemen, now. It's a boy. We're witnessing a whole birth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be where they had where they had all the maniacs, rapists, and murderers, and the worst of the worst. Guys, we really want to know if you're in here. None of you lovely gentlemen would like to step out and say hello. Yeah, right over here. Hold on, back it up, back it up. Right around here, someplace. We really want to know if you're here. Whoa. What the? F oh. What the? F was that? Whoa. What the? F what the? F was that? Oh. <laughs> oh. What was that? It is windy, but the yeah, wind is not coming. It, it, it's not. It's blowing in, not out. This thing's shut. Closed shut. All right. Okay, if you were here and you just did that, could you do that again? Okay. Uh, maybe we should get the static. Here's the static. Put the camera here. If that captures a mist or anything in here, well, that's closing. I mean, then we know yeah. we got something. I like how they had something unexplained happen in this cell, and they're taking advantage of that, trying to have it happen again. Yeah, they're not again. walking away. It's good use of teamwork. I like them. They're, uh, they're all on the same page, which is good. All right, judges, Dave, yes. I'll be right back. All I'm right. going to go sound the siren to end the first part.
of their investigation. I get that. It was well, a good sell. You picked a good sell. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I get paid for. You get paid. <laughs> Hey teams, how you doing? Good. Good. How, you doing? Good. how was that first part of investigating? Excellent. Dave, would you like to uh, talk with them a little bit? Guys, it was uh, definitely interesting watching you do the investigations. I'm not going to tell you which team is at it, but uh, one of you is horrible with your history, and you better turn it around for this part of the uh, investigation so that you can get some good evidence from it. Remember, you're not just being judged on teamwork, on history, and on equipment but it's the evidence that you're going to garner from these parts of the investigations. So I need both of your teams to really kind of pony up. Let's see a little bit more energy out there. And before we release you guys to begin part two of your investigation, there's something that we want to show you. Tri-State Paranormal, you three are headed over to zone two, where Death Row is. This EVP says he's the devil. Northampton County Paranormal. You guys get a piece of photographic evidence to help you. Right here, you can see what appears to be two um, spirits, two ghosts, uh, peeking around uh, the gate right near the center rotunda. In addition to the evidence that Zach has presented, they are both given trigger objects to attract more spirit energy. For Tri-State Paranormal, a homemade prison weapon or shiv. And for Northampton Paranormal, a guard's hat and keys to the prison cells. You guys ready for part two? Yes. Pumped up? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Good luck, guys. Wait for the signal. All right, thank, thank you. you. Teams will now switch locations and continue investigating for two more hours. Northampton Paranormal will now work Zone 1, which is cell blocks 4, 12, and 10, while Tri-State Paranormal will explore Zone 2, which is cell block 14, Death Row, and The Hole. Northampton County Paranormal, are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Tri-State Paranormal, are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Begin. It's locked down. We're taking over here. Lights out. Who's in this cell? Lights out, everybody. Don't try to push me. Getting any readings on Tam Sunday screen? I just felt like we walked through a hell of a cold spot. Crazy ass wow. cold. It just went right through me, man. Who right here? There, there it is. There it is. It went from 50 to 45. Did you hear that cough? Someone's running behind me. Is that you? Did you just walk in the room? Uh oh. It's been almost 20 minutes into the investigation. Scott Wiley is uh, getting some hits off of his melmeter. Audio up, please, on Northampton on Scott Wiley. They would tie these prisoners up in this chair. Things They'd leave them in there for days without food. And I know from experience there's some energy in that room. Did you just walk in the room? I just got the chills. And now... The meter's going off. And I can hear footsteps. We are in the hole. Is anybody down here? My name is Tony. Sorry to be bothering you. We're going to see about going down here. That's right. This is not a place to be. Wait a second. Are you back here? There's no pipe here. Hey, no, it's okay. Don't be afraid. Is that you? Do me a favor. I need to get proof that this is you. Is that you?
when you do get readings like that, there could be speculation by skeptics that the equipment that he's holding in his other hand is triggering the electromagnetic feature on this, which is the antenna. You know, I'm less than an inch away from that antenna with the battery uh, from the camera, and it's not triggering this. But human energy, spiritual energy, see the difference? Are you right behind me? You're right there. Let's drop 10 degrees. Is that you? Is that you again? Do that one more time. Yeah. Is that you rustling around? Are you rustling? Looks like they're just getting ready to hit their one hour. One mark. hour, and he's been separated from his team doing a private investigation of his own while the other two are working, which I think is great, and it's a good utilization of the location. So right now we got Northampton County Paranormal. They're on cell block 12, which is a very active cell block. And then way over on the other side of the prison is where Tri-State Paranormal is over in death row, cell block 14 in the hole. And they'll come up behind me either. That's... Now, can you make it light up while I'm standing here looking at it? I knew you came in here. Whoa! Jesus. You're stuck in a hole. Nobody around. Uh, uh, get me out, please. Whoa, what did he just, did he just run out of there? Tony's Someone's got some issues. You. Someone's running behind me. Someone's running behind you? What happened? No, 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 it's just it's down in, no, it's down there in, in, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, spot. They can, uh, I don't know. Did you get touched? No, I just want to, you, you know. Get paranoia set in? Not paranoia. It's almost like a feeling of, like, I'm not getting out. Like you're trapped? Like you're trapped in there. Almost like that whole thing. Claustrophobic? Not claustrophobic. It's the point that nobody's around. You look pretty shaken you, up. You I right gotta now. tell you, you look pretty shaken I don't, I don't, up. I don't like that. Uh, you know, I didn't, no, I just, you know, you know I just, no. Nah. Are you playing games? Play what? Follow me. Oh. Are you still with me? Follow me. See you behind me. I have a headache. I have a massive headache right now. Are you really? Yeah, I got a massive headache. Yeah. Right, you got just 10 left. Let's get out of here. 10 left. Right. I think we probably have enough time to get this packed up. Here, take this camera. Leave that there. Point the infrared down this way. Give me your freaking hat. All right. Listen. <laughs>